Sean in Seattle writes to me. He says, hey, Paul, do I need to worry about my speaker cables touching my power cables from the amp and preamp? My speaker cables, which are Kimber cable, are braided but don't appear to be shielded. Thanks. Quick, simple answer, no, not at all. Don't worry about it. So here's, let's, let's talk a little bit about it. First off, Kimber cables are not shielded, and thank goodness, I would never have a shielded speaker cable in anywhere near my equipment. They, they just, it, it restricts the sound. It's just, don't do it. You don't want it. <laughs> no shielding for any of us, okay? So I use AudioQuest Dragons, and before that I used MG Audio flat ribbon cables. None of those were shielded. That's absolutely the last thing you want. Secondly, the power cables, hopefully they're shielded, and if you have a good power cable, it's shielded correctly, which is only tied at one end, and that's the end where the, you plug into the AC wall socket. That's where the shield should terminate. The other end, the shield should be floating and not connect up to your equipment. That's through, you, you do that through, through the third prong. Um, so don't worry about it. Even if you had just Romex with no shielding on it and your speaker cable sat right next to it other than you know any issues we might have with with any kind of induction which I wouldn't worry about the level of hum that might come out and into that cable you would never hear in a loudspeaker not even a chance of that so yeah nothing to worry about last thing Kimber cables are braided cables. And so one of the things that, uh, uh, as opposed to long parallel conductors, and a braided cable achieves it because it's, it's braided at right angles and you get this cancellation of noise and things. And it's a pretty cool way of doing things. And Ray has been making great cables for years. And Ray Kimber is, is one of the all-time great sweetheart, wonderful guys. A, just a gem of a human being. I wish more people, I, hell, I wish I could live up to Ray Kimber's standards. He, he, there are stories about Ray. I think one of the last ones, what are the last ones, and he doesn't look for any kind of, of uh, recognition or anything. But there was a family who he read about in the paper somewhere who had a fire and it destroyed everything, and they were living at some, uh, you know, uh, it just uh, kind of a down on your luck story. And Ray um, went down and spent several thousand dollars buying a, t a, a you know, on wall great television and anonymously had it sent to the family and said, Here, I hope this eases your pain. I mean, who does that kind of stuff? <sighs> just send chills up me. Good, good for you. Good human being and we need more people like Ray Kimber. So. All right, thanks for the question. Good luck out there.